All right, this is lesson 36, graphing systems of inequalities. Um, the goal of this lesson is students will graph systems of inequalities. Uh, please pause the video here so the students can write this slide down. Continuing on here, um, the steps coming up here are the following. Uh, students, please start writing this down. And um, teacher, please pause the video now so the students can write this down. All right, so continuing on here, um, the goal of today is we're going to be graphing systems of inequalities. And so we're going to be graphing the lines. And the previous knowledge you need to know is we used to graph lines with y is equal to mx plus b. So that's called slope-intercept form. So that's where step one comes. Um, and then we're going to be plotting a couple of equations. Okay, and then the big idea is where the solutions are include where the most shaded region is and the adjacent solid lines, okay, meaning the, the lines that are next to the uh, graphs, okay? So here we go. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of problems, and you're going to write these in your notes, all right? So here we go. Number one, we got a couple of problems here. So number one, this is a system of inequalities. We're going to graph this. So we have two equations here, and we learned how to graph one, okay? So the best way to do this is focus on one equation at a time. So I'm just going to cover this first equation, okay? Or second equation, so you just focus on the first one here, okay? First equation here, we've got to make sure it's in y is equal to mx plus b mode first or form first, and it is. We know that b is 3, so we're going to go to 3 on our graph on the y-axis uh, y and write that down. And then we know our slope is negative 4. And if our slope is negative 4, it means we can make anything a fraction by putting 1 over it, which means the denominator is always positive. So the slope is rise negative 4, run 1. So we're going to go from this point, rise negative 4, one, run 1. And plot a point here. And we do that again. One, two, three, four, run one. Should have a point right here. Okay. Then we're going to look at our sign right here. Oh, sorry about that. Let me hide that again. We're going to look at our sign, and it says greater than or equal to, so I'm going to use a solid so, solid line and graph it with a solid line and put arrows at the end. And we're saying that this is greater than or equal to, so we're going to shade above it, okay? We're shading above this, okay? Just lightly once, okay? Now we're going to look at our second equation. So I'm going to hide the first equation and show the second equation. So here we go. Second equation's up here now. We know our y-intercept is negative 3. So you're going to plot a point at negative 3. And then we say, we're saying our slope is 2, so our slope is 2 over 1. Okay, so we're going to rise 2, run 1. And look at that, it shares the point right here already, so we're just going to plot the point again. And keep going, rise 2, run 1. Rise 2, run 1. Okay, so we keep doing that across our graph paper. And on this one, we're looking at our sign, it's greater than or equal to also. So we're going to take our points and we're going to connect them with a solid line because it says equal to, remember from last week. And we're going to draw an arrow at each side of this. And we said it's greater than, so we're going to shade above this line. Now, you'll notice that the most shaded region is, or the overlapping region is right here. Okay? So... Uh, with your pencil, you could shade both regions or everything above this line as greater than. Um, with your pencil, another way to do this that I prefer is that if you know that this is where it's overlapping, okay, I would erase everything else around it so that it's nice and clean looking. Okay, so I would take my pencil or my eraser and just erase around it. And that what this is telling me that is that any point inside this shaded region or on the adjacent lines, which is this line and this line, these are all solutions to this original system of inequalities, okay? And all you have to do is graph. That's what we're doing today, all right? Let me do one more. Students are still watching. They're not writing, okay? Number two, our y-intercept is negative two. 
So we put down negative 2 here. We're rising. Um, this is on equation 1, by the way. I'll, I'll hide the other equation. Slope is 1 third. So we're rising 1, running 3. Rising 1, running 3. So we're running out of space here. I know that there will be a point over here someplace, so I'm just going to leave that alone. But I'm going to go the opposite way, rise negative 1, run negative 3. should be a point here. And I'm noticing that this is just greater than, there's no equal to sign. So instead of a uh, solid line, I'm going to use a dotted line. So from point to point, we're just going to go and draw a, a nice dotted line. Draw arrows at the end, and we said that this is, we're checking to see, it says it's greater than. So I'm going to shade above here, okay? So I'm just shading lightly, because I know that I might have to erase with my pencil. Okay? Next one is, actually it's a little too, it's a little too, uh, too dark. So next one, let's look at the second equation. I'm going to erase the, the first equation focusing on the second equation. So you would cover your this with your hands, of course, so or something, or your finger. Okay, plotting a point at 1, because that's our y-intercept. Rise 4, run 3. There should be a point here. Sorry, that was a little messy. And we're going the opposite way. Rise negative 4, run negative 3. Oh, look at that. It shares a point right here. Awesome. Okay, this one also it doesn't include equal to, so we're going to draw a line that is dotted again. Connecting our points, okay? Drawing an arrow at the end of here, each of these points, okay? And this one says greater than also. Now I'm going to shade above it, right? And I'm noticing that it's shading right here, right? When, or if you're not noticing, right here it's all shaded, which means this shouldn't really need to be shaded anymore. So I'm going to really shade in this section right here that's up greater than. And then go back with my eraser and erase with my pencil everything that's within these two lines. And the reason for that is because these are not solutions. We're saying what is the solution to this system of inequalities? It's anything that's in the shaded region or the lines attached to it. Except the lines that are next to this shaded region are dotted, which means we don't include them, okay? So that's how we do number two, okay? So um, if I could have the teacher please pause the video here. And students, I need you to write this down right now. So students are writing this down and we'll pause the video right now. And that's it. Okay, well let's leave this video up here. And students, you could start your homework or classwork for tonight. Um, and we will go over this uh, again tomorrow, okay? And a reminder for tomorrow, we will be meeting in the Media Center, Media Center, uh, which is the library. We're going to be doing our bench work actually tomorrow, so that changed on our scheduling. All right, this concludes this lesson.